Hello children, welcome you all for this wonderful session. Today's session, I am going to give you a reading practice for this poem which is Gecko. So that it will be easy for you to know the pronunciation of the words and memorize the spelling. Already I told you, daily you must read one page per day. So that it will help you to develop your reading skill. Now I am going to read the poem you just read along with me as it is in your home. Are you ready? Let's go and read. Have you seen a gecko? It is a reptile. Most people find geckos creepy. Do they scare you? Even though it's very small. Repeat along with me guys. Even though it is very small. The clever gecko possesses all. The clever gecko possesses all. What is the spelling for possesses? P O S S E S S E S. Repeat along with me. P O S S E S S E S. Possesses. The body argents and this lizard. The body argents and this lizard even has a perfect gizzard. Even has a perfect gizzard. What is the spelling for gizzard? G I Z Z A R D. Gizzard. Repeat along with me. G I Z Z A R D. Gizzard. What is the meaning of the word possesses? Do you know? Yeah. To have a particular quality or an ability. Repeat all of you. Even though it's very small, the clever gecko possesses all. The body argents and this lizard even has a perfect gizzard. What is the meaning of the word gizzard? Which means part of a bird's stomach that breaks down food into smaller pieces. Here we can see the rhyming words which is small, all, lizard, gizzard. Next go to the second stanza. Its feet are well designed and stick. Its feet are well designed and stick. To wood and plaster, stone and brick. To wood and plaster, stone and brick. And should a predator grab it for lunch? And should a predator grab it for lunch? The tail is dropped for it to munch. The tail is dropped for it to munch. What is the spelling for predator? P R E D A T O R. Predator. P R E D A T O R. Predator. What is the meaning of the word predator? Which means animal that kills and eats other animals. Which is said to be predator. Repeat along with me. Its feet are well designed and stick to wood and plaster, stone and brick. And should a predator grab it for lunch? The tail is dropped for it to munch. Here we can see the rhyming words which is stick, brick, lunch, munch. Next go to the stanza of third one. While the predator ponders this mystery, while the predator ponders this mystery, the gecko disappears uneaten and frisky. The gecko disappears uneaten and frisky. Another tail will start to show. Another tail will start to show. But now there is just a step to show. But now there is just a step to show. What is the spelling for frisky? F R I S K Y. Frisky. Repeat along with me. F R I S K Y Frisky. What is the meaning of the word? Which means full of energy. Frisky, which means full of energy. 
and here. What is the word is this? Stub. How will you pronounce the word? Stub. S-T-U-B. Stub. What is the meaning of the word? Short part of something long and thin. What is the meaning of the word stub? Short part of something long and thin. Repeat all of you once again. While the predator ponders this mystery, the gecko disappears uneaten and frisky. Another tale will start to show. But now there is just a stab to show. Go to the next stanza. So hide yourself, you tailless beast. So hide yourself, you tailless beast. Or look a bit ashamed at least. Or look a bit ashamed at least. Please, this tale maneuver don't repeat. Please, this tale maneuver don't repeat. It makes you look incomplete. It makes you look incomplete. What is, what is this word? Maneuver. What is the spelling of the word? M A N O E U V R E. Maneuver. M A N O E U V R E. Maneuver. What is the meaning of the word? Which means a skillful moment. Which means a skillful moment. And here I need to tell who was the poet? Yeah, Zoe Whittaker. Who was the poet of this poem? Zoe Whittaker. Next, rhyming words. What does it mean by rhyming words? Did you hear this word anywhere? Let us go and learn. It means a repetition of similar sounds. Exactly the same sound and the final stressed syllables and any following syllables of two or more words, which is said to be rhyming words. Once again, repeat all of you. It means a repetition of similar sounds and the final stressed syllables and any following syllables of two or more words. So, these are the words which he said to be rhyming words from the poem which is Gecko. Repeat all of you. Small. All. Look at the sound which is similar. Small. All. Lizard. Gizzard. Lizard. Gizzard. Repeat all of you. Stick. Brick. Stick. Brick. Lunch. Munch. Lunch. Munch. Repeat once again. Lunch, munch, mystery, frisky, mystery, frisky, beast, least, beast, least. So once again I am going to repeat rhyming words which means a repetition of similar sounds and the final stressed syllables and any following syllables of two or more words. Next, go to the sight words. What is the first word they have given here? Gizzard. Repeat all of you. G I Z Giz Zord. Z A R D Zord. Gizzard. Repeat all of you. G I Z Z A R D Gizzard. What is the second word? Clever. Clever. C L E V E R. Clever. C L E V E R. Clever. Third word. Plaster. Plaster. Repeat once again. P L A S T E R. Plaster. P L A S T E R. Plaster. What is the fourth word? Predator. P R E D A T O R. Predator. P R E D A T O R. T O R predator. Fifth word ponders. Ponders. P O N D E R S ponders. P O N D E R S ponders. Repeat once again. Gizzard. What is the first word? Gizzard. Two. Clever. Two. 
flower 3 plaster 3 plaster 4 predator 4 predator 5 pounders 5 pounders next sixth word mystery mystery m y s t e r y mystery m y s t e r y mystery seventh word disappear disappear d i s dis a p p e a r appear disappear d i s dis a p p e a r disappear repeat all of you disappear eighth word frisky frisky f r i s k y frisky f r i s k y frisky ninth word stub stub s t u b stub s t u b stub tenth word maneuver m a n o e u v r e maneuver m a n o e u v r e maneuver once again repeat all of you sixth word mystery seven disappear seven disappear eight frisky eight frisky nine stub nine stub tenth word maneuver tenth word maneuver next go to the word body what is the first word possesses what is the first word Possesses. What is the meaning of the word? To have a particular quality or ability. To have a particular quality or ability. What is the spelling for particular? P A R T I C U L A R. Particular. Particular. What is the spelling for quality? Q U A L I T Y. Quality. Repeat all of you. Possesses to have a particular quality or ability. Second word, gizzard. Gizzard. What is the meaning of the word? Part of a bird's stomach that breaks down food into smaller pieces. What is the meaning of the word gizzard? Part of a bird's stomach that breaks down food into smaller pieces. What is the spelling for stomach? S T O M A C H. Stomach. S T O M A C H. Stomach. Breaks. B R E A K S. Breaks. Food. F O D. Food. Smaller. S M A L L E R. Smaller. Pieces. P I E C E S. Pieces. Go to the third word. Predator. Predator, animal that kills and eats other animals which is said to be predator. What is the meaning of the word? Animal that kills and eats other animals which is said to be predator. Next, fourth word, frisky. What is the meaning of the word? Full of energy. Full of energy. Fifth word, stub. Short part of something long and thin. Fifth word, stub. Short part of something long and thin. Sixth word, maneuver. A skillful movement. A skillful movement. A skillful movement. Maneuver. A skillful movement. Next, go to the tick the correct options. First word, a gecko has a perfect Das. What are the options they have given? Look at your book. Gizzard, foot, tail, egg. Which is the right answer? Yeah. Gizzard. A gecko has a perfect gizzard. Second word. The gecko's feet are well das. Numbered, placed, designed, known. What is the right answer? Yeah, designed. The gecko's feet are well designed. Go to the third one. Its feet can stick to das. Its feet can stick to das. What is the option they have given here? Word, 
plaster stone all of this yeah of course all of these is the right answer gecko's feet can stick to wood plaster stone so the right answer is all of these fourth one the predator gets to munch the dash of the gecko what is the question they have given here the predator gets to munch the dash of the gecko so what is the option they have given here look at your book egg gizzard tail feet yeah exactly the right answer is tail the predator gets to munch the tail of the gecko fifth one according to the poet the lizard looks like dash without its tail what is the right option they have given tailless beasts perfect mystery ashamed lizard predator so what is, which is the right answer for fifth one according to the poet the lizard looks like a tailless beast without its tail so the answer is tailless beast next go to the checkpoint what is the first question they have given here repeat all of you what does the gecko possess what does the gecko possess what is the answer for this the gecko possesses all the body organs and the gizzard the gecko possesses all the body organs and gizzard what is the spelling for organs o r g a n s organs gizzard g i z z a r d gizzard what is the spelling for possesses p o s s e s s e s possesses so repeat all of you what does the gecko possess the gecko possesses all the body organs and a gizzard go to the second one what do the gecko's feet stick to what do the gecko's feet stick to what is the right answer where it would to stick its feet do you know that yeah the gecko's feet stick to wood plaster stone and brick the gecko's feet stick to wood plaster stone and brick what is the spelling for wood w o d wood plaster p l a s t e r plaster stone s t o n e stone brick b r i c k brick on second repeat all of you what do the gecko's feet stick to where it can able to stick its feet do you know that yeah the gecko's feet stick to wood plaster stone and brick go to the third question which part of the gecko is dropped when it is attacked by a predator repeat all of you which part of the gecko is dropped when it is attacked by a predator what is the right answer for this question the gecko style is dropped when it is attacked by a predator the gecko style is dropped when it is attacked by a predator so which part is the right answer yeah which is gecko style so the answer is the gecko style is dropped when it is attacked by a predator what is the spelling for tail t a i l tail next go to the fourth question what happens to the gecko's tail after it drops a part of it repeat all of you what happens to the gecko's tail after it drops a part of it what is the answer for this question after the gecko's tail is dropped only a stub of it shows and the other part of the tail grows back slowly so what was happen when the gecko's tail after it drops a part of it it will grows back slowly so repeat all of you after the 
a coarse tail is dropped only a stub of it shows and the other part of the tail grows back slowly so what is the spelling of the word dropped d r o p p e d dropped stub s t u b stub other o t h e r other grows g r o w s grows slowly s l o w l y slowly next to go to the answer the following session what is the first question they have given here why does the author call the lizard a clever animal do you know why what is the reason repeat all of you why does the author call the lizard a clever animal what is the answer for this question repeat all of you the author calls the lizard a clever animal repeat once again the author calls the lizard a clever animal because the lizard can mislead the predator by dropping off its tail for it to munch and then run away so why what is the reason the lizard can mislead the predator by dropping off its tail for it to munch and then it will be running away from that place so the answer is this repeat all of you the author calls the lizard a clever animal because the lizard can mislead the predator by dropping off its tail for it to munch and then run away what is the spelling for munch m u n c h munch predator p r e d a t o r predator mislead m i s mis l e a d lead mislead because b e c a u s e because clever c l e v e r clever author a u t h o r author next to go to the second question why does the lizard drop its tail do you know why repeat all of you why does the lizard drop its tail what is the answer for this question the lizard drops its tail to create an illusion for the predator the lizard drops its tail to create an illusion for the predator while the predator munches on the tail while the predator munches on the tail the lizard runs away while the predator munches on the tail the lizard runs away can you guess so that is a reason the lizard was a clever animal the lizard drops its tail to create an illusion for the predator while the predator munches on the tail the lizard runs away what is the spelling of the word illusion i l l u s i o n illusion repeat all of you i l l u s i o n illusion create c r e a t e create munches m u n c h e s munches go to the third one how does the predator react after the lizard drops at tail repeat once again how does the predator react after the lizard drops its tail what is the answer for this question after the lizard drops its tail the predator gets busy trying to understand the mystery after the lizard drops its tail the predator gets busy trying to understand the mystery what is the spelling of the word mystery m i s t e r y mystery what is the spelling of the word understand u n 
D E R understand S T A N D stand understand gets G E T S gets trying T R Y I N G trying go to the fourth word what does the poet mean by maneuver in this poem what does the poet mean by maneuver in this poem do you know what is the meaning of the word the poet refers to the sharing of the tale maneuver in this poem the poet refers the word maneuver which is sharing of the tale maneuver in this poem the poet refers to the shedding of the tail maneuver in this poem what is the spelling of the word m a n o e u v r e maneuver go to the fifth word fifth is question what does the term mystery refer to what does the term mystery refer to the tail of the lizard that he has dropped in order to protect himself is referred to as mystery repeat once again what does the term mystery refer to the tail of the lizard that he has dropped in order to protect himself is referred to as mystery so what is the meaning of the word mystery here which refers to the lizard dropped in order to protect its tail itself so that word which refers to mystery in this poem on second repeat all of you the tail of the lizard that he has dropped in order to protect himself is referred to as mystery okay children hope you all enjoyed and learned how to read the words in this poem i hope you will read with correct pronunciation and stress where it is needed thank you all